Hey there, this is AB from Agile FX. Uh, we're the professional bubble developer based in Boston. I wanted to show you the power of bubble in this video. I wanted to show you how quickly you can create a form that is going to be stored into a database and you can also display that information into uh, a page and that, all that to make it fully mobile responsive. So without further ado, let me dive into it. I'm going to start with this blank page. Now there's no color behind it. I just use this grid to show a different grid layout. So that's why you're seeing it. But if I uncheck, you'll see it's plain white page. Now, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to put up a logo here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a group and I'm just going to call this a header and I want this to be a row. So we'll do that. And let me go ahead and set this up as 300 as a minimum width and 70 as the max width. And we want a logo here. So we're going to set up an image and the image needs to be, well, let's just make this image a fixed width, but we do want to uh, make this an aspect ratio. <clears throat> and then I want to make the width of 100. Uh, that's too small. Let's make it 150 and center. Now it's too much to the left, so I'm going to make some margins here. I'm going to add a margin of 30 so that uh, 30 is perhaps too much. 20 is a good rule of thumb. <clears throat> so we add that margin. And let me now go ahead and upload Agile Effects logo. There it is. Um, it's getting uploaded now. There, there we go. So it's going to show up here in a second. And while we're waiting on that to kick in, there it is. Uh, we Let's set up a button here for a login. So I want this thing to be centered as well. And let's just make this... Uh, apart from each other like both on the each end and so let's <clears throat> set it up accordingly and so here we have right margins we're going to set 20 right margins so we have a little space here and on here I'm just going to call it login I don't like the color so I'm going to go and change this to blue perhaps yeah there we go that looks good so now our header is ready and let's just make sure that the layout on this is 370 fit to the width and all that looks good. Now we want to create a form so I'm going to create a group that is going to be in a center. So we're going to make a column group and this is where we're going to create our input boxes to collect name, email, phone number and I think that's what we're going to begin with right now. So let's just start with that. I do want this group to uh, minimum width to be 300 so the smallest screen size is 320 pixel. So at 300 is perfect I would say uh, so let's start with 300 and I'm gonna make this group name group form and let's just also make sure that this is a centered group that it is yep now it's centered and I'm gonna go ahead and add different input box so we want to add an input box for uh, let's name, but I do want this to be centered. So let's just add center. It's touching too much of the header. So I'm going to add a top margin off. Let's say 30 pixels. It's going to look nice and clean and um, well sprayed out between different um, input boxes. So let's say we want to collect first name and we want to leave this as a text. We create a second one and we're going to call this last name and that's also going to be text. And then we're going to call the other one email. And I want this thing to be email format. And last but not least, it's going to be the phone number. And that is going to be set as US phone. Uh, and now we want to add a button that is going to collect all this data and store into the database. I'm just going to copy and paste this one so that um, I do want this thing to be last. So I'm just going to go into the layout. I'm going to say make last, do it center. I do want to add a margin of 30, oh, not the padding, margin, there we go. But nothing on the right, so we're going to make this zero. And I do want this thing to match with the other input box, so we're going to make this 250. And I'm just going to call this submit form. All right, so with that being said, uh, we have this done. And let's say we have the form ready. I'm going to add a little bit of a margin on the background, I mean on the bottom too, so that um, it looks nice and clean from both sides. And let's add a little color so we can see how um, on this background um, to kind of see how it works in a mobile responsive. 
and I'm going to make this a little bit gray. There we go. All right, so we're collecting first name, last name, email, and phone number. And let's store that into a database. So I'm going to go and click on Start Submit Workflow. And I wanted to create a new thing here that's going to be called, uh, let's just call this uh, Form Data. And we're going to add the first one. We're going to say first name. That's the data type. And we're going to set that as a text. And we're going to take that input from a first name value box. The second one, we're going to be calling it a last name. So let's go ahead and set that up. And that is also going to be a text value. So we're going to set that up as a text value last name. Uh, this one is going to be email. So we're going to set that as email. Now email has to be text. Um, it's just how the bubble database is structured. So I'm just going to set that up as input email. Oh, sorry, input emails value. And this is going to be phone number. And that is going to be numbers. Uh, I believe, no, I wanted to keep this as a text because it's a US phone number. Uh, so that needs to be phone numbers value. Yep, so that's it. So now we're storing that data. We also want to reset the form. So let's just say um, in action, reset inputs. And maybe you can show an alert. Uh, we can show an alert here saying, hey, congrats, your form. And I, I do want this to collapse. So let's just make the center here. And let's just make this 250. And we're going to use that alert. Um, reset input, um, in action, show a message to alert A. And we're gonna say, info added to database. Oh, sorry, database, there we go. Okay, so database input is added. Uh, we're doing good, we're at seven minutes. So let's go ahead and um, add other items to it. Um, so the form is ready in, in responsive mode. So as you can see, it is going to work in different screen sizes, as I mentioned. Now let's just go ahead and display a data for this form. So I'm gonna create another group and I'm gonna make this center and I'm just gonna make this group display data and on the display data I'm gonna make text input and here I'm just gonna I just want to uh, well let's just make this yeah I'll, I'll make it column uh, it's a column based center let's also do the center uh, I do want this thing to have a top margin of 50 so it's very laid out center and here I'm just gonna I'm gonna search from the database. I'm gonna search from the form data database. And let's just say last item, whatever the last item we're adding, uh, we want to display their first name. Then uh, I also wanna display the last name. So I'm gonna copy and insert and paste. As you can see, you can do a lot of copy and paste here too. And then um, on the other one, I'm just gonna click on and create for email and let's enter this again and this one is just going to be a phone number and we do want this phone number to be formatted as a US phone and there it is first name last name email phone number uh, the text is probably going to be yeah it's, too small but let's just see and I'm gonna write a rule or condition saying that if um, well it's not gonna display anything so let's just preview now how it looks so when we go to the preview there it is this is your fully responsive app if you look at through a different screen size this is how it's gonna look on a different screen sizes you can add different mobile views I like to use this plugin I, I think it's called uh, the plugin name is uh, well I can try to find it and send it to, uh, I'll put it as a comment in the uh, under the caption I would say but there we go you can add different um, views to it and you can kind of see like how this app is going to look across the board into different mobile devices all right so with that being said let's just go ahead and test this out I'm going to go back to the preview mode and in this preview mode I'm just going to say enter my 
name and there's phone number hit submit that data added there we go that's simple right at 10 minutes all right so hope this video helps um, and if you have any questions if you need help with your bubble project feel free to reach out to us we're the professional bubble developers we've been building bubble apps since 2016 uh, I've worked on 90 plus bubble projects and we can take any complexity we can technically build anything on bubble at a speed of light what I have noticed you can build anything on bubbles up to 70% faster and cheaper compared to traditional web development. Hope this video helps and uh, hope to work with you on your project soon. Thanks.